Yo, what's happening my good people? Kumusta? It's Saturday again, folks. And guess what? It's our two-minute Saturday. And today, we are going to discuss about audio quality. Very important, first off, for content creators sa mga gumagawa ng videos. Um, you know, disclosure, man. I mean, we're not expert here, but we have enough experience to share, especially for the beginners, how important audios are. So, hindi naman tayo eksperto, mga kapatid, pero karespe-respeto naman ang ating mga napagdaanan na pwede nating i-share sa ating mga baguhang mga uh, content creators. So, in terms of audio, um, it's important to have a good mic. So, depending on your setup, in my studio, I have my condenser mic for podcasting or whatnot or reviewing. Yan ang gamit ko. You know, directly communicating. Dadan mo na sa switch and then to the computer and then you broadcast it. So, for example, we're editing right now. Then you would have to have a proper audio aside from your video quality or image quality. And the most important part is post-processing. So, tapos na yung video mo, di ba? Tapos na yung content mo, tapos na yung record mo, or live feed, or whatnot. Now, to post-process it or edit, you have to listen to your audio quality. So, on my setup, personally, and for others that I followed as well, there's two ways of mainly monitoring your audio quality. So, first off, there's a famous headphones. This is a studio quality um, monitor headphones that you put it in your ear like this. So what happens is that this studio headphones will be one position only. It will be stuck in your ear. So this is an ear cup that covers your entire, you know, ears. So one way or the other, you will hear good quality because it's so close to your ears. It's one dimensional. So basically, this is some kind of hi-fi monitoring on your audio. So regardless of real-world scenario, this, no matter how position or movement or, or how far you are, you will always hear the same quality. Moving on. The second one is going to be the speakers, or shall we call studio monitor speakers. This one is not the most expensive. Hindi ito yung pinaka, uh, uh, shall we say, top of the line. Actually, this is a beginner for uh, made by Mackie. But it is highly capable of monitoring some stuff, man. I mean, the way it works is that you position it in a triangular base. So I got two, one and two. This represents the actual real world scenario. So when you're editing, like what we're doing here right now, you will hear the audio quality going towards you. But if you move in this side or on the other side, you will hear, you know, different sound waves will not be the same quality when you're in this position. So basically, this represents a real world listening environment. So it's very important if you do your post processing to be listening to the speakers. So it's really up to your preference. Now to the train ears, um, this is the way to go to edit because this represents an actual you know, environment. Now, the only thing I can advise is that edit, 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 process, process, process. If you have other listening environment, um, then, then do it. Such as inside your car or sa loob ng kotse mo. If, if you're not satisfied, um, just put it, put the file, mp4 file, listen inside your car and see if it's good quality. You know what I'm saying? I mean, by the end of the day, content creators contribute, share. And that's what we're doing right now, man. So, once again, guys, it's Saturday. I appreciate you watching. Be safe and always remember, God is good all the time. Again, this is your main man, Ben, here. Peace out.